I just planted it. What do you think? Well, I love that you did a raised garden because that allows us to control the soil that's in there so we can have good soil for the vegetables. I know the native soil here in Mississippi is not so good for growing vegetables. It's not. Well, with a raised bed, we've eliminated that problem, and it's nice because you've put in this basil, some lettuce. Some collard greens. Great. Now, as gardeners, we can control some things. We can control the soil. We control how much water they get. But one thing we can't control is frost. And these are tender annuals. If they get a good frost, they'll all die. What if I told you there was a way you could grow vegetables all winter long? That would be great. Well, this is what we're going to do. We're going to put a high tunnel, which is essentially a greenhouse that's unheated, over this bed. That's great. Well, we've got to get some supplies so we can build it. Let's go. OK. We're going to use PVC to build the roof of our high tunnel. Now, we're going to use a 20-foot length because it'll bend easily and be strong. OK. Now, here's the one-inch pipe in diameter, 20 feet long. This one right here, you got it? I got it. All right, let's head out and get the lumber we need. All right. We need some pressure-treated 2x4s to support our pipe and build our end walls out of. We're going to need four 10-footers and four 12-footers. OK, sounds good. We're going to cover everything with four mil plastic. So if you just grab a roll up here. I think that's good. We're ready to go to work. Our high tunnel is going to be 10 feet by 12 feet, and that'll allow you to put in another raised bed. I'm sure we will do that one day. So we just want to line these up, line that one up with the end. And we're just going to take and screw them together to make the base. Remember I told you we were going to use a PVC pipe to create that frame for our high tunnel? Well, that has to be anchored. What we're going to do is we're going to take this galvanized pipe and drive it down in the ground and leave it stick out about six inches, and then our PVC is going to slide right over it to anchor it in place. How are we going to do that, Roger? We're going to do it using this auger. All right, that should be pretty close. Put that pipe in. Take your hammer and your safety glasses. Now we picked the one inch pipe because it bends easily, but it does not fit over this galvanizer we drove in the ground. So what I did is I adapted a piece of pipe that's an inch and a quarter that'll slide over the galvanizer. So I'm gonna go up like this, get on mine. Okay, I'm in. Now you got to lift up and bend. There you go. Perfect. Let's get another one. All right, to hold this in place, we're going to use this bracket. I'm going to hold it on here, and you're just going to put that screw right through the hole right there. Great, we'll do the other side now. Okay, come on over here and take and sink that one in for me. All right, this is gonna set right in at this end. Jesse, let's talk about the work we've been doing. We actually framed in two doors. Now, that'll be great. It'll make it easy for you to get in here and do your work. But also, if it does get really hot and it gets hot inside the tunnel, you can just open those doors and it'll ventilate and let the heat out. That's great. Now, we also put in a beam, two of them, to stabilize the door frames and tie everything together. And we've tied the rails to the top of this beam. This would actually make a great place for some hanging baskets. My wife's going to love that. Yeah. Now, we're going to get the doors and put those up. Let's do it. All right, we're ready to put this one in. Before we put it up, I'm going to put a shim right on the bottom. OK, let's set the door right on top of that. Good. 
Storm Silva eat your heart out. Okay, let's get the plastic on. How you doing? All right, great. Look at that. All right, we're going to fold the plastic over and get the whole thing tight, and then we're going to staple it into the two by four every three inches. All right, Jesse, I'm going to start cutting out around our door. Now, I want to make sure it doesn't rip, okay? Okay, your high tunnel is done. It Come looks on great. In. Woo, it feels hot in here. Yeah, well, that's the point. It's holding the heat in, and that's going to protect your plants. They won't get frosted. They won't die. You are going to have vegetables all winter long. Mm -hmm.